Hello everyone and welcome for this new tutorial. Today it will be the second part of the video on the game animation sample. If you missed the first one on how to use your own character, you can go and check it out. Today we will see how to migrate this character to another project. So you don't have to work into the game animation sample, you can migrate it to another project and use it with all of the different animation. So we'll see how to do that today. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone who joined the Discord server. You can join it, it will be, the link will be in the description. If you have any question or anything, you can go and check the Discord server and you can become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button. If you join the channel, you will have access to some special emojis. You will have some bunny emojis, so I will let you go and check it out. I still need to make the badges, so I will make them very soon. So let's go into Unreal and we will see how to migrate our character and make it work into another project. Okay, so here is the project. If I launch the game, you will see that I will have my own character. It's the bunny and it's using all of the animation from the game animation sample with the runtime retargeting and go and jump the stuff. And I would like to migrate this character to another project. So how to do that? I will go into the content folder and I will find my retargeted character. And you can find the bunnies here. My sandbox character bunny. Hop, here it is. So I would like to migrate this guy. So I will right click on this blueprint and I will choose in Asset Actions, the Migrate. There will be a lot of stuff to be migrated. Press OK. And we'll go and find our project, which is Migrate Character. Open this project and we need to choose the content folder. And now the character will be migrating. So you will have a crash at the end because there is an issue with the migration, but it's okay, it will still work. So just let it migrate, it will take some time, then it will crash, and when it crash, we can go into the other project and the character will be there, and it should be working. We just have to enable some plugin. Okay, so we got the crash as expected, we will send and close, and now we'll go into our other project, and if we open it, we will see into the blueprint, we have our retargeted character with our bunny, which is in here. Now we need to enable some plugin. So let's go into the plugins, and I have the list, which was sent to us by Jonathan from our previous video. He left a comment with all of the different plugins that we need to enable. So thank you very much. And you find the information from Gorka Games. It's another YouTuber. You can go and check him out. He makes some very good tutorial. And so we need to enable the motion trajectory. Let's start with motion trajectory. So enable this one. Yes, yes. we don't restart it now. We'll enable everything and then we'll restart. Then we need the pause search. Okay. Now we need the motion warping. Hop. We will need the animation warping also. Then we need to get the chooser. Okay. Now we need the animation locomotion library. Animation locomotion library. Okay. And the last one is the deformer graph. This one. So we enabled all of them, now we will restart. And now we can use our bunny character into our project. I will need to create a new game mode. Just gonna put it there, just for testing purpose. We don't really care, game mode base. GM underscore bunny, up. Inside we will change the pawn to be our bunny pawn. This one will be the sandbox character bunny, okay. Compile and save. And now we can change the game mode to be or game mode bunny. And if I launch the game now, we have our bunny with all of the animation and everything is working. We have the running animation, we have everything. If you want to make the climbing and stuff like that work, you need to migrate also the cube. Oh, you need to recreate the mechanic with the ledge climbing. If you want to see how to do that, let me know in the comment section. I will make another video on how to use the ledge climbing. And so that's it. We have our own character in our own project. And we are good to go. That's it for today. It was a very small video. It was very cool to migrate our own our character from the game animation sample to our own project. And now we can actually work. Like for example, into a game jam, if you need a character that has a very good locomotion system, do that. Put your own character, migrate it to your own project, and you're ready to go. You can create a game with a character with a very good animation for walking, running. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video. On the next video, we'll go a little bit deeper into Control Rig. I already made a video on Control Rig, it was basic Control Rig. But on the next one, we'll see how to aim to something when we want to shoot by using Control Rig and how to make a foot IK, and we'll see that into the next video. So see you on the next video.